Good day, I am Maria Reindel Aido Estrellas, taking Bachelor of Science in Accountancy in one of the top universities in the Philippines, Forest Union University, Manila. I decided to talk all about the pig started by Wim Boy. Before I start, Wim Boy is a provocateur as well as an artist. Delvoy is a modern art world's infant terrible, whose work is frequently intended to shock, appall, and defend. Delvoy, a Belgian artist, is known for pushing the boundaries of his profession, causing audiences to question his ethics and how we should define art. Around 1997, he began tattooing live pigs in Europe, which has received with significant condemnation from animal rights advocates. Wim Delvoy was born in Belgian town of Werwick in 1965. He has since become well known in the art world for his controversial sculptures that use a variety of unusual materials, including pieces. The following photo shows a pig staff and tattooed with garden characters, religious iconography, and art design on its back. This concept was created by Wim Delvoy. Controversially, Delvoy had the tattoos ink onto the screen while the animal was still alive. These projects are deliberately provocative, thus in the boundaries of art and ethics. He began tattooing dead pigs in the early 1990s, but in 1987, he started working on live animals, intending to challenge the art market by creating living works of art. In 2004, Delvoy relocated to China where he reviewed pigs on his art farm near Beijing. The farm was closed in 2010. The tattooed pigs can be owned by collectors while alive, but only physically possessed after their deaths. Others consider it as cruel. I show the world works of art that are so alive. They have to be vaccinated. It lives, it moves, it will die. Everything is real. Delvoy said in an interview with the French Daily Le Monde. The tattoos are based on Delvoy's paintings and larger reflect. Western iconography like the Louis Vuitton emblem and Disney characters. The artist takes away the economic value of these renowned photographs by putting them on pig skin. They devolve into mere ornamentation, serving merely to start up. The pig is viewed as an investment by the artist. Delvoy tattoos his pigs while they're young because pig skins are highly valued in China. Live or taxidermied pigs are available for purchase. Some purchasers choose to buy piglets and raise them on the farm. Others choose to buy the piglet skin after it has died. The boy was always been able to surprise people. He learned at an art school in Ghent that displaying skilled work including old crafts was frowned upon in the art world since it was considered kitschy and degraded due to the role of a lowly craftsman. However, this did not dissuade him. His early works with carpet weaving and tapestry, which he began in the late 1980s, irritated many because they infringed on the realm of traditional arts and artisanship. His works now demonstrate artisanal abilities such as weaving, tattooing, carving, embossing, stained glass, and steel work. He did not think much of nudity as a subject matter when he was in school, despite the fact that it was the popular in the art world at that time. It is frequently stated that art is an expression of one's spirit, and it is particularly intriguing when the medium of art is an animal's pack. According to Wim Delvoy, the Belgian artist who came up with the tattooed pig's concept, an artist does not have to be cruel to animals in order to create great art, an ideology that many animal rights organizations around the world embrace. Most people associate chickens, pigs, and cows with food. Many people are unaware that animals not only experience pain, but also that their mental well-being can have an impact on the quality of their output. The voice stand European audiences and enrich animal rights organizations throughout the continent by painting on the skin of live pigs. He meticulously developed a unique idea he dubbed his art form. 
where professionals look after his beads while the artist sedates, shaves, and tattoos them. Following the procedure, veterinarians treat their skin to ensure that their wounds are clean and that their skin is adequately hydrated. To be clear, Bim Delvoy is a neoconceptual artist living in China where he just purchased a pig farm. This is due to the fact that his art project involving the tattooing of live pigs was judged unlawful in other countries, although animal protection restrictions in China are less stringent. Despite this, Delvoy states that he is friendly to his pigs and pays attention to their needs. Delvoy's art is influenced by the Roman Catholic community in which he grew up, and he tackles religious themes and symbolism in his work, frequently in a provocative way. Wim Delvoy is no stranger to experimenting with diverse art materials, having previously worked on projects that resulted in Gothic style twisting towers built of marble replicas. He once tattooed a man's back in order to sell it as an artwork, with the collector receiving the man's skin upon his death, when he was thinking of methods to interest people without doing the obvious, he came up with the idea to tattoo pig's backs. The Aldrey brand will be the picture of choice to be tattooed on the animal's backs at the moment, as the Shanghai Contemporary Art Fair was approaching. Pigs are living, breathing animals with the ability to experience pain, according to animal rights activists. As a result, forcing them to go through the process of getting a complex tattoo causes them unnecessary pain and anxiety. Delvoy repurposes his pig's life as living canvases instead of slaughtering them to their skin. Despite China's lenient animal rights legislation in comparison to other countries, Wim Delvoy feels the pigs he tattooed when they were younger got compassionate care and were anesthetized before to the process. According to what I read, the Chinese appear to have been fascinated by the pig tattoos, despite the fact that cow fur has decorated the runaway for decades, with the possibility that a single pig may bring up to $70,000 depending on the pattern on its skin. This type of art becomes even more intriguing. There is no limit to what a tattoo artist may create on a pig's back, from Disney cartoon figures to designer house logos and convict insignia. My perspective is this is bad art. Pigs can feel pain too. Everyone can feel pain even if it is an animal. But according to what I read, it is not cruelty. It is art, and since the void does this art in China, wherein the animal protection restrictions are less strict, he has not breached any rules, and since we are here in the Philippines, tattooing pigs are disobeying the law.